Good morning. Yeah, it's a first alert weather day, so let's show you why that's the case, and that's because the water levels with the Tonto Creek are rising. What you're looking at is, in fact, a road. This is not a pond. This is not, you know, a creek. This is a road. This is the Greenback Crossing. And from what locals tell me that this is a very important road that people use to get to places. And so when it floods, it causes quite, a, you know, an issue. If you were watching before the commercial break while I was teasing the story, there was actually a car uh, attempting to cross. Now, there were sheriff's deputies out here urging people not to do so. I'm also joined with local Randy, who lives here in the area, to talk about the issue that flooding like this causes you guys. So, yeah. It's a challenge because, you know, you got people that, uh, there's, you know, cattle ranchers out here that have work they have to get done. There's a lot of people that just need to get to work or get to the grocery store to, you know, get baby diapers or whatever. And, and so, there are times where, you know, this can be a real challenge. This is pretty typical for this time of year in January to have this kind of flow here. But uh, today is so far not looking too bad, but uh, I, we expect it to get much worse over the next uh, 24, 48 hours. Yeah, let's talk about the alternative. When this road is flooded, how long does it take to get if you wanted to get to the other side? Well, there's actually two options. Uh, we were ferrying people across in a pontoon boat uh, across uh, Roosevelt Lake. There's a, a one boat ramp on the other side of the creek that accesses the lake, and we can pull up a boat there and transport people over to the Choya boat ramp or the marina or whatever. But if you're not doing that, then the other option is uh, a thing called the A-Cross Road, which is a four-wheel drive road that goes uh, uh, all along the east side of Roosevelt Lake. And uh, to get to, to go from here... Uh, all that way and back again would probably be about a three-hour trip. And now, it's sometimes it's not even accessible. Wow, three hours. Now, I want to show the conditions again because we do have more cars uh, rolling on up. It appears that as soon as that sheriff deputy left, more cars have been sort of uh, showing up. And you were telling me that you've actually helped rescue uh, many people in on this section of roadway. Well, you know, uh, we've helped pe get people unstuck. Um, we've, uh, more than anything, just kind of documented using a drone and stuff like that, documented people getting stuck just to raise the level of awareness of, of uh, you know, what a challenge this can be at times. And most of the time, you know, people are pretty cautious, but uh, occasionally you get someone that just makes a bad decision like what happened last week down here, and, and uh, that was an expensive learning experience. All right, thank you so much, Randy. Yeah, the big message from the Sheriff's Office, from the National Weather Service is, if you see conditions like this, it's best not to risk it. Remember, turn around. Don't drown.